Well, what a beautiful, beautiful calm before the storm day we've got going here. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Big Bear Weather and More. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of this YouTube experience with me. I'm very honored and blessed to have each and every single one of you here with me. Never imagined we'd get across 23,000 subscribers, but I mean, I've told you guys numerous times, I never thought I'd, I'd get a couple hundred subscribers. I just thought that this was gonna be a place, a free cloud to store all my winter videos so I can watch when I get really depressed. And I made the videos public because I knew if it helps me, it might help some of you. And it's it's been a remarkable experience. I've developed the best friendships I've ever had because of this channel. It's pretty crazy cool, so. Thanks for being here. And this is the calm before the storm. Tomorrow night, we have some, some weather that's gonna start to move through the area later in the evening time and overnight. And it appears as if, 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 if everything works out properly, we can see three to five inches by late Tuesday. My prediction is a couple inches, but you, you never know. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be optimistic on this one and, and go for the higher end of our stick here. And then a few days after that, we got some more weather coming in. So kind of a, a weekly thing lately, which is great. We need it. We need it for you guys to come up here, which is it's a big reason I love doing this is because I love to see people's expressions on their faces when they're in a vacation environment, having a good time because I know how I always felt coming up here. It was just the most freedom and just get away from all of your BS in life and, and just, you, you know, just put every, keep all that down the mountain, come up here, just let loose a little bit. So it makes me happy. And we'll get into the weather real quick, but don't forget for your rentals, your ski and snowboard rentals, go to Get Boards here on Big Bear Boulevard. We're coming up to both the shops. They are one block away from the village and two blocks away from the village on Big Bear Boulevard, right on the corner. They have a snowboard shop and a ski shop. And if you mention the channel, if you bring your own equipment in, they will wax your skis and snowboard for free. But they do have the best prices on the mountain for rentals. But the staff is extraordinarily knowledgeable. They'll fix any issues you have. I'm telling you guys, they are the sweetest people. That's why I wanted to start using them as the go-to folks for you guys because they're the best at customer service up here. Here's the snowboard shop, get boards right here. Packed like they should be. And then check this out. I tell you guys about Big Bear Smoke and Vape. Here's their second shop in this shopping center next to Sandy Sports Bar. The owner of, of that place right there, Sahil, just welcomed me in, into this town, treated me with so much love and respect. I was so alone, and he made me feel like I was his brother. And uh, when I used to smoke and vape all the time, his shop was the only one that actually had similar, if not better prices than down the mountain, which is the total opposite for anything up here. Everything up here is way more pricey because they know they can charge you that. But right there, that's his smaller shop. That's his Big Bear Lake shop. But they will take care of you guys big time. It saved me so many trips driving down the mountain. And real quick, here's Get Boards Snowboard Shop. Right, right there. Right on the corner of Knickerbocker. I'm telling you guys, you guys are going to be stoked with that Get Boards place. A lot of you already are. I told you guys, like I told you guys, that customer service is top notch over there, right? Killer equipment. So thank each and every single one of you who have gone in there already and your great feedback about it. That makes me super happy. But yeah, back to Saw Hill real quick. I encourage everyone to shop at Big Bear Smoke and Vape. His other store is a lot bigger and it's in Big Bear City. Um, downstairs of a two-story building and all the addresses and phone numbers are down below in the description of of these videos but he's a wonderful guy great product great prices and and not just smoke and vape stuff he's got 
little trinkets and uh, um, just a lot of other little things that I think would be really, really fun for tourists to check out and purchase and contribute to this little community. So yeah, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. Again, I, I don't get anything out of it. I do it because I really, really like him and he's really fair to you guys. I don't get anything out of Get Boards. They have a great reputation and they treat you guys with love and respect, so. Anyway, back to the video. This is what it looks like on a Sunday. Most of these vehicles right here are probably heading out of town. So we're gonna take some, some little shortcuts. I did wanna go around the lake, but I should have done it the other direction so we'd be going against this traffic. One of my favorite spots, the bowling barn. That place is a lot of fun. As you can imagine, not much to do up here. Ski, snowboard, hike, and just enjoy nature. So that's some of the nicer things that you guys get to do down the hill and probably take for granted. We don't have much up here that we can take for granted. I wish we had an In-N-Out burger though, I'll tell you what. That would be game over for me. This, it, the channel would be called Big Big Weather and More.com because I'd be huge. So we're on Lakeview right now. Lakeview's a nice little side street shortcut. Beautiful homes right on the lake. Someday, if I'm lucky, hopefully my hard work will pay off and I'll be able to put my wife and I in a little house on the lake. I don't care if it's little or big. I just want it to be right here on the, on the lake. Bigger house would be nice, but I'm happy in a little tiny shack. Our rent is so unbelievably low. That's why we haven't moved. We've had the opportunity, but I want to make sure I'm more stable in my finances before we make a commitment like that. But yeah, this is Lakeview. A lot of beautiful homes, as I said, right on the lake great shortcut in many cases uh, you cut off a bunch of the boulevard we're still gonna have to hit a bunch of the boulevard but it does relieve you of a lot of the boulevard as I said all these homes right here right right on the lake Anybody planning on coming up here for this storm? Let me know. And if you have any questions or need advice about anything, I'm always happy to let you know what's going on. I want you guys to have the best experience when you come up here. Again, it all comes down to how I used to feel when I'd come up here. And it's hard for me to get that feeling back because it's not the same. It was my family when we were all getting along really well years and years ago, and it, it was just a really fun family experience to come up to Lake Arrowhead and then drive over here for skiing and stuff. But those are my favorite memories of my entire life, and that's why I moved here. So I'm hoping I can help you guys create some incredibly beautiful lifelong memories. This is all I can do. You guys have to get in the car and drive up here. And I know you, you'll have a wonderful time. We're still on Lakeview, you guys, by the way. I know we've made a couple little turns, but it's still considered Lakeview. Wait till you guys see some of the new promos. You're gonna laugh your butts off, I promise. I turn into a rap star. It's, it's pretty, pretty funny. And I know a lot of you are gonna absolutely laugh your buns off 
So we're making a left on Edgemore. This is as far as we can go for the shortcuts to get to the dam area. So we're gonna take Edgemore to Big Bear Boulevard. These homes are kind of on an inlet over here. And here's one of our biggest marinas, Holloways. Holloways Marina. For your boat rental needs, I always suggest, uh, and, and for your tours, go to Big Bear Marina. It's right next to the village, centrally located. If you take the boat tour, ask to go on Captain Paul's boat tour. He's a close, close friend. We ride our Harleys together. He's so knowledgeable about this area. Um, he's just a, he, he's a wonderful guy. Temperature is 50 degrees. And it's supposed to get a little bit warmer than that today. I'm wondering what we're going to end up hitting. I bet we hit 53, 54 degrees, which is quite high. We don't really want to hit that this time of year because we want this snow to stay. But as you guys will see throughout this drive, a lot of the snow has melted away. It happens quickly, guys, so you need to get up here. If we're not getting those big storms in January, this is what's gonna happen because as the, as the time goes along, we start to get into the longer days and the sun is at a higher angle as we get closer to the summer months. So the more sun we have, the more melting we get. Um, it's a bummer, but it is what it is. As a matter of fact, you can see like right here, just a week ago, there was over a foot of snow just sitting right there and already dry patches. Look you at know how dry that area is. Of course, that's getting a lot of direct sunlight for hours at a time. But it's really important that you guys come up quickly. Do not mess around. Try to follow me as much as you can so you can have as much opportunity and time to give yourselves to come up here. start coming into a little more traffic leaving town but again the best part is once we get to the dam we don't have to continue going straight here's another get board shop right here they rent kayaks and all that stuff for your summertime needs great spot great spot this summer we're gonna be doing it at least one kayaking video for sure. I'm excited. Here's Boulder Bay Park, one of my favorite little areas in town.
those beautiful homes. We are entering the snowiest part of the entire Big Bear Valley. From here all the way to the Big Bear Dam, if you can find an Airbnb, you will be happy if you're a snow lover. Or I should say happier. most popular hikes it's called Castle Rock through here you go all the way up to the top there and there's a big giant rock that they call Castle Rock and you can climb up to the top and there's gorgeous views of the entire valley the hikes a bit grueling it's not long but it's very steep the whole time we'll be doing that again this summer Amongst that, we'll be doing a lot of other hikes. I'm looking forward to it. My feet sure are not, but I am. Well, the traffic's not too shabby right now, so that's great. Potholes are getting bigger and nastier. I'm interested, interested to see how long it takes for those to get patched up because they're already big enough to cause a lot of damage. This is technically a state route right here, Highway 18, so they should get right on it, but last year, if that's any example of how they lag, I hope it's not the same this year. Just gorgeous, look at this. Imagine that guy's driveway. If he wants to go, he has to plow that whole thing. What a pain in the rear. Big Bear Dam. That was easy. We're gonna turn right and head into Fonskin. The rest of the drive will be even more simple than that. And more beautiful.
Again, look at all the dry patches everywhere now. And remember these snow berms right here because in, in about a mile or two, those will be completely gone. Again, we're still in the snowiest part of the town, just on this side of the lake, but the further we go this way, the less and less snow we'll see. Temperature dropped three degrees. So we're at 47 degrees right now. I think for this time of year, that would be pretty normal. that view behind our ski resorts of San Gorgonio from over here. Look at how much snow there is up top there. Do you know years ago they were really close to putting a ski resort up there and if they did it would definitely be a world-class ski resort. People from all over the world even though they still come from all over the world here they'd get more enjoyment if we have that place as a ski resort. Just because of a lot more fresh snow, more of a powdery snow, because it's colder, higher elevation. And you'd, you'd be able to ski through, through June, in most cases. In San Gorgonio, actually, some years we'll have patches of snow year round. If you want to enjoy yourselves in a secluded setting, away from everyone else, for the most part, 
you'll want to find an Airbnb in Fawnskin because you still get good snow over here but you don't have to deal with all, all the craziness on Big Bear Boulevard. into downtown Fonskin right here and a little quick peekaboo view of Grout Creek tributary I love that little area it's the most serene peaceful place I think I've found up here especially when the waterfall is flowing San Gorgonio. Look at that view. Wow. It's so monstrous. dry it is it's just amazing again it, 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 it will melt so fast especially this time of year and the later that we get into the year February and March are the two snowiest months in this entire area technically when records come into play since I've lived here January has been the snowiest month for the nine years that I've or, or the I think this this is my eighth or ninth January. Let me think. Yeah, this is my this this was my ninth January here. I think.
right, guys. I just placed a call for some lunch. We're getting lunch at Mountain Munchies today. My favorite views of Snow Summit are coming up. Gosh, we're lucky to live here. Lucky to have work. Lucky for all of it. That's the problem that a lot of people struggle with when they are trying to move up here is finding steady work is not easy. And finding something that pays more than minimum wage, definitely not easy. left side look there's hardly any snow over here I mean hardly anything it's, again it's quite quite remarkable to me how fast this stuff melts favorite views in this whole entire valley which is being here at the edge of the lake at the end of the lake and it should be great because we're going to get some good footage because there's a lot of traffic on this road so it's going to be nice Snow Summit to the right. Something frustrating about this place though is I don't know if you can if, if these people can can read or what but it says no stopping anytime and honestly it's I wish we had better parking for stuff like this but 
I wouldn't be surprised if we see a cop up here walking up to every car and leaving a fat ticket. And those signs are like every 50 yards or less on both sides. <laughs> but yeah, guys, don't, don't be one of these people, please. Because I don't want you to get a ticket when you're up here. That's not fun. Again, they need to do something better with some of these specific locations for parking. Right, guys well that's gonna be it for the calm before the storm just wanted you guys to kind of see how little snow we have left compared to what it just was days ago and also don't forget if you want to support the channel it would it'd be very helpful if you go to bigbearweatherandmore.com get your merch wear it with pride and support what we're trying to do here that would be amazing I know you guys are gonna love your stuff everyone who's purchased something so far we haven't had any any issues any complaints nothing like that so again help me out i'd appreciate it and also hit that like and subscribe button if you appreciate and like what i'm doing and realize the efforts i put into it i do spend a lot of time i try to respond to each and every single comment not just with a copy and paste copy and paste i do the best i can to show you guys that i really do appreciate you because i really do so thanks again for everything and uh get ready for the storm coming in tomorrow evening talk to you guys later. Until next time, I love you guys with all my heart. Peace out.